been a tough day. The Skunk Works lab facility kicked my butt. I hate roofing. But we're going to take a quick time travel and try to rewind time and go over the day's, uh, day's progress. So here we go. hard to see it out here but <clears throat> we're site protected for the rain actually you can't see much can you but it's all clean but uh we did the floor in the format it's going to be it stinks like pure poison but I'm going for the craftsman outside custom built by hand with pride using Japanese tools or at least tool makers tools made in China Makita Matavo uh, Hitachi but I went with a translucent stain over the Advantech Toyota dealership and service department dealership gray um, there is the sick and sea tall marine on a test bit but that's what the outside will look like it's hard. There's a little color variation here. Um, I'm gonna go get a white LED light really quick. Not really quick. Any construction projects? The uh, that's the amber hue that you're gonna get on the T111. You can compare that to the traditional framing lumber that's beside it, and that'll give you an idea of the outside. I think it dries a little bit darker or a little bit lighter. I can't remember, but that's uh. That's sick and sea tall marine in its pure form. Little test strip. Windows. Oh, we got some teak going to do still on the ceiling. Um, there's no way I'm jumping up on there. But, uh, uh no way. But, uh, yeah, it's got a teak over the ceiling, the rafters. Get my light. Here's the Makita. White light is good light. So, there we go. Now, we have a, sh we have a starlight, star bright. But, if you can see up there, I put big hangers. Uh, they're like 316 steel with Fasten Masters. And uh, there's a better look in each corner over the header. And then now we can get a better view of the ceiling. So there is the skylight rough in. Let's uh, aim this light a little bit better. Sorry about the lighting. So I'm learning how to be some sort of video photographer, cinematographer. But there's the skylight rough in we got the ice and water shield up but the ticos we'll get a joist hanger on each of those in the ridge and what you see the black that's the ice and water shield that's over it but and then the skylight box will get doubles headed off with tico so everything and then there'll be hurricane straps on the rafters you need to stiffen it up for a vaulted ceiling and it's also like code um, I'm going to try to go with something kind of fancy. I like to use a little over-engineering. Uh, there'll be a work table there uh, at, at the windowsill height. Something like butcher block or stainless steel type work table. Um, there'll be shelving along the back wall and then shelving on the side wall, which will be like an L-shaped feature. Um, L L and then the corner and this will be work and then the center of the uh, facility will be open and a, you know because I've got welders and stuff I'm keeping in here too so um, I gotta keep my welders new old stock my but uh, my uncle Johnny did a fancy job putting the ridge in and uh, God bless him man he's a, he's a hard damn worker for a 72 year old man but uh, 
put some white light on the sick and sea tall sample and this will probably help um, show its well the true beauty I'm going for I went with the natural teak because that's all they had the regular sea tall is a little bit more amber but um, hopefully the white light is doing it some justice but the fans will be going she's sight protected I'm gonna take the light with me really quick try to keep this update video short but uh if anyone is on my my youtube channel please subscribe um i've got other stuff going on besides this that i don't really post on mud but i wanted to do something i've never seen anyone document any type of automotive outbuilding you know i've got my storage there lighting's terrible isn't it but uh yeah it's pretty pretty freaking cool the soffit detail um, I think I'm going to do a split horizontal and uh, I'm going to do one piece of uh, five quarter by six cedar, uh, one by tongue groove on the flat with I got stainless steel screen and then wrap the other on the incline. I really want to go with the A frame and vaulted ceiling like Colorado, Utah, Montana post and beam, something like Northern California. That's what I'm going for out here and keep it natural you know but uh yeah so um you see out here we we got the the rake and the chicken ladders up today and uh that was uh, we did it i didn't treat it because it's going to be exposed but that'll be all boxed in with something or maybe it'll be left exposed i'm gonna coat everything with sickens and see how it turns out and then box it in as time goes on but uh and then we travel around here and we got the boardwalk as some of you have seen but uh i want to put a big shout out to my good buddy um uncle mark mark algazi out in burnbank at mark soft road enterprises um he's been uh an ear of support and someone i could always talk to Especially related to construction questions, stuff that's not related to land cruisers. <laughs> so that's why I posted this in chat. Even though it is Toyota parts related, it's still a chat topic, you know? Um, pour the second sauna tubes and uh, underneath the beam, which was planned, and put copper, but the concrete shrunk, so I've got to put some structural shims. I think I'm just going to go with either, probably not steel, but like pressure treated or composite shims, but that copper, you know, is anti-ground contact. But I really like the sauna tube features. There's one that didn't get cut off, but yeah. The Rising Sun Mechanical Skunk Works expanding NOS parts facility and long-term preservation storage and restoration workshop unit is taken off. And, uh, might take Sunday off, but onward and upward till then. So I think a lasting shot will be my my T10 toolbox and well anyone's got a Denzo toolbox, bring it on. Clock from class. It's always about rewinding time with the Rising Sun Mechanical Skunk Works.